Hi guys. I uh, was up all night last night. Got about an hour of sleep because uh, I had an idea and I wanted to get it done before I uh, forgot it. So uh, this is what I came up with. This is a uh, minecart station in a box version 4.0 and uh, now using repeater technology uh, there they are um, so uh, this is actually almost the same size as uh, version 2.0 uh, which was the kinda it was 10 by 10 by 20 it was kind of a, a vertical thing uh, this is 14 by 16 by 9 so that you know it's only 16 square meters cubic meters uh, larger so it's almost identical um, it is a lot um, smaller than uh, than 3.0 which is the was the big hub um, well relatively smaller um, oops. but the um, the big difference between uh, 2.0 3.0 and uh, this one is uh, you may have noticed there's a uh, five buttons here so five buttons means five destinations we've added an extra destination in the same amount of space relatively which is pretty cool and it works the same way we're using door booster technology uh, you could save a little room uh, with a double booster or something like that but for SMP purposes I wanted to make sure it would still work at least uh, that's what I'm told. So push a button, you get boosted off. We're routed to the destination number five since we hit number five button. And a four. And we'll go off to four and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So take my word for it, it works. Um, arrivals and departures are different than 2.0, but they're the kind of the same as 3.0 the big hub um, each track when it comes in uh, is the arrival and departure track so you don't have to worry about uh, routing um, one in one side and out the other like the um, version 2.0 so when you arrive in the station um, all the carts are kicked off to the left here on the arrivals loop and when you depart, um, you come around here on the departure side, and these track pieces here will switch depending on which way uh, you want to go. So that um, I, I really like having this uh, arrivals and departures um, consolidated, and instead of having to separate the tracks out, you just have a single track coming in, and it takes care of it automatically. Um, I got added a little dispenser here for you guys uh, if you want to add some mine carts in there. Uh, let's see. Let's show you downstairs, which is uh, oh, here's the the door booster, just your your basic run of the mill door booster. Um, nothing too fancy there. Uh, the big difference and the reason I was able to get this uh, uh, so tight or consolidated in here is because of the repeaters and uh, this is a new RS Norlatch um, that I uh, stumbled across and uh, it's it's kind of the uh, it's an inline RS Norlatch and uh, it's it's not uh, it, it's the only part of the RS Norlatch is this block this repeater this block and this block so those three blocks and it's like four by two four by two which is pretty damn good and um, what on my old stations the way I'd, I normally would handle it is you'd push a button and um, it would let's, let's show you here normally what I do is uh, on like here's destination five it uh, would reset all the other RS Nor latches and allow the track, the cart to come bypass all those and just just go out to the last one. And then um, destination four would uh, reset um, all the 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 uh, RS Nor latches before it. So it four would reset three, two, one. 
5 would reset 4, 3, 2, 1. Uh, 3 would reset 2 and 1, and 2 would reset 1, and 1 wouldn't reset anything because it just needs to switch that one track. So um, that can be a little uh, complicated to get the uh, get it all routed around. And what I discovered is um, instead of having each um, button reset a particular set of other RS NOR latches, each button up there all five of them reset all five RS NOR latches through this uh, redstone up here. And um, the reason we can do that now is because we have these uh, repeaters and they're, they're all set on a delay. So the button signal is coming into here, but it's delayed until the reset signal can go through and reset everything. Um, each button up there is hooked up to this one wire and each button resets the um, all five RS NOR latches, and then uh, you know, like half a second later, uh, through this delay system, um, the particular button that you hit will uh, set its RS NOR latch, allowing this uh, this uh, uh, oh here we go, um, uh, allowing this to these torches to come on this one here which allows this light this dust to come on which uh, turns off this torch which switches the track um, confusing so so anyway um, th that's the cool thing is each button it doesn't have to you don't have to worry about uh, you know hooking it up to each other uh, all the other uh, RS NOR latches before it you know the, only the particular ones that you needed to reset it resets them all and then it Go ahead and sets the one you want. And the cool thing about that is now um, this 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 line here, this 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 reset line, it's also um, used in the door booster. It's um, this is the uh, pressure plate. This is the pressure plate here, um, with the with the torch on it going to this line here, and uh, this reset line is all hooked together, and this is part of it. It's all one wire, so any any part of it that gets lit up will uh, will lit up this one as well, and uh, that'll turn off this torch. And if the pressure plate is activated, it'll turn off that torch. And this is your AND gate for your door boost. And it runs over here and uh, opens the door. I hope I'm making sense. I'm not sure I understand myself at this moment, but uh, anyway, basic gist is you push a button if you're on the pressure plate and you take it. So you don't really need to know all the ins and outs of the redstone, but just uh, just you know, push a button and off you go. So um, one, uh, I'm going to. As always, uh, put the uh, schematic in the description. I tried to import this schematic uh, into another world, and something's wrong with MC Edit, I believe, because when I imported it, about half the station showed up, and it wasn't just straight down the middle either. It was like there was this piece here, and then there was this piece here. You know, there was, this was all trees and whatever was there. So, and then I finally got it to 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 do it after I tried it a couple times. But then when I when I got in there, the door booster was screwed up. This this cart was kind of rolling backwards, and the uh, the, the cart down here was all glitched out where it, you couldn't do anything to it, and it, it would carts would pop out of midair. So. Something's goofy with MC out of still, um, probably with the McRegion, MC region uh, stuff that they needed to update. Something's not quite right there yet. But um, when they do, um, or you can try it now, uh, you can import the schematic into your world and, uh, and uh, enjoy a, a nice little compact five destination train station all right guys thanks for watching sorry i'm so long-winded on this one uh, i'm gonna go take a nap
Catch you later.